Asheville's district attorney is looking to audit Governor Bill Lee's pandemic emergency spending. During the pandemic, you remember the governor was allowed to issue no-bid contracts to companies for needs like PPE and COVID tests. And as state capital reporter Gerald Harris shows us tonight, some are concerned about the companies that receive those contracts. From giving a Republican lawmaker's furniture store $165,000 for hospital gowns that was eventually canceled to a $75 million contract with Extend Healthcare, charged with doing contact tracing despite being a medical billing company with no epidemiology experience. I think that where there's smoke, you worry that there's fire. And now she wants Nashville's district attorney to investigate. We just need to make sure that everybody is doing what they're supposed to do because it's our responsibility. And Nashville DA Glenn Funk signaled he will seek an investigation of the spending. I'm currently deciding which office or agency can best assist me in conducting this audit. A $26.5 million contract for Nomi Healthcare, a Utah-based company, was terminated but with a $6 million buyout from taxpayers to the company. They were charged to provide PPE and COVID tests without prior experience. Of course, we understand that, you know, in a pandemic and with emergency rules that there are going to be some situations where you need to do that. What's problematic is that a lot of the people that have gotten these contracts have had no experience. But the questionable contracts don't end there. Pell Horse Global, a small security company, received a $13.5 million contract for PPE. Renfro Corporation was paid $8.3 million for defective sock mask out of North Carolina. And just this week, lawmakers approved an additional $8 million, totaling $16 million for a New York-based literacy training program where Education Commissioner Penny Schwinn's husband works. Reporting in Nashville, I'm Gerald Harris. And we also want to let you know Gerald reached out to the Education Commissioner's Office to see if Penny Schwinn had a comment about that contract and so far has not heard back. We also asked the Governor's Office about the potential investigation and also have not heard a response.